Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 105 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series, where we're building a courier station. <laughs> yeah. um, so last episode we got actually quite a lot built, and I feel like the flow of the episodes is definitely better now, uh, especially because we sped up the process of, 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 of expanding. But we've got our restaurant, we've got our fishermen, uh, and all these buildings are kind of like self-run, right? Like they're just putting their stuff in, 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 and hanging on to them, and you know, we've got... If we look in here, we'll see the inventory, like, here's the food they're catching, but it's just staying there. That kind of sucks. I wish somebody could curry items from maybe the fishermen to the restaurant, or maybe store them in the storehouse. That would be nice. There's a reason to have a storehouse then. So the courier is born. Special delivery. All land within one chunks of the delivery man has been claimed. We can now manage workers, and we're going to hire Thomas because he's our only option, right? So apparently uh, agility is important here. His is kind of low. Let's see if we could hire somebody. Like, I'm going to look at these other people that are wandering around and just see what the I deal know. is. Um, that's Thomas. So, no, I'm not talking about you, buddy. I want somebody else. Who else has high agility? How about Paisley Archer? Show citizen stats. Uh, agility is seven, so that's not bad. Paisley, you might be a new citizen of mine in a minute here. Unless somebody has better agility. You know, just saying. It's your gold. Agility 12. All right, never mind. I just You're am immediately gold. going to get 24 gold. That is what we're going to do. 12 is a lot of agility. Hi ho. Hi ho indeed. I'll 20, 12. Okay, yeah, everything. 24. Recruit. Ah, oh, does not have enough space, but I want him. All right, looks like we're going to have to looks like we're going to have to build a house before we can do that. So let's do some housing over here, right? Does that sound cool? Uh, so, from mine colonies, we want a house of some kind. Uh, mine, stonemason's hut, town hall, warehouse, shepherd's hut, cohan's hut, swineherd's hut, chicken farmer's hut, barracks tower, barracks, restaurant. These are all the buildings you can make. Smeltery, composter's hut, library, archery, combat academy, sawmill, stone. There's so many things to do. Sifter, flower shop, enchanter's tower, university, hospital, school, glassblower's hut, dyer's hut, fletcher's hut. Mechanics Hut, Tavern, Plantation, Rabbit Hutch, Concrete Mixer's Hut, Apiary, Construction Tape, Barracks Tower, Placeholder Rack, and the rest of the stuff all looks pretty straightforward. Where's, where's like a house house? House. There it is. Booyah. Let's get one, right? I, I, I will probably want two houses, and that will supply housing for both of our current dudes right so let's just pop it down we suggest you use the build tool to place this uh, oh yeah use blue okay cool yeah so let's um so yeah citizen house we're gonna do the wooden house right and then we're gonna back it up a little bit and just see you know i want i want it to be something like that does that look cool i like that yeah do the thing cool uh build options build building Okay, build request created. My buddy's gonna go take care of that. And then, you know what I'm gonna do immediately? I'm gonna go place another one. Cool. So same deal, rotate it around so that the front is there. Um, we, should, we should align it such that it's about the same. I think that seems cool. See, now I'm confused, but if we went to level five, would that show us that we are in fact, what? Yeah, that's how we want it. Yes. Okay, cool. So yeah, you level one, check. Cool. Perfect. All right. So now we can't build both of these at the same time unless we had a second builder's hut, uh, which we don't, obviously. Uh, at some point we might, and then we could have two builders working on it. But let's get housing for our citizens, obviously. So let's see, what do you need by way of resources at this point? Uh, you need some more oak wood planks, which you should be fine with stairs and a red bed. Red bed, indeed. We can handle that, I think, ish. Cool, and then red bed. Start that crafting of rose red, and that should be cool. So if I went in here, I can boop, and it'll take the bed out of my inventory and do the thing. Nice. Uh, oak stairs, shouldn't be too much of a problem. I really need to figure out how to teach these guys how to make their own stairs, and that would make my life a little bit easier. It would be less hassle for me but i'm just going to go put all the stairs because obviously they love stairs for their building materials and that's cool so now you're happy uh yes and then just some oak planks which i'll go ahead and make some for them i mean i could just let him craft them from all the oak that he's got 
Uh, I'm gonna take away all this dirt though, because he really doesn't need the dirt. The dirt is showing up because he's doing a bunch of digging, right? And I don't think we need to worry about dirt so much. I also don't need a cyan rose. No, definitely not, right? So when he clears out area, he stores it in his hut. Now, once we have the courier assigned, which we do, right? We did assign a courier. No, we didn't, we didn't. We're holding off on a courier because we wanna get the agility, right? Um, so yeah, it looks like Boone's gonna take a nap. I'm gonna take a nap because I would like these houses built sooner than later. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get everybody back to work there. Um, Boone is the one who had the high agility stat, by the way. So hopefully my villagers won't be too cranky. I've been, I've been kind of alternating nights. I let them sleep through a night and then I will, um, not let them sleep through a night. So I'm, you know, kind of doing my thing, trying to make them all be cool and stuff. And then we'll see what the courier looks like once we can hire Boone. So step one, get this house built. I don't know how much land clearing he needs to do. I guess I'll kind of let him do his thing. Um, what I might do is make sure that he's got enough shovels handy. And I should upgrade this, this builder's hut. I don't know if I can get the builder's hut to level three without upgrading the town hall. I honestly don't know. Um, but we'll find out. But I should get him up to level three at some point. That would be cool. All right, where's my buddy? You working, dude, or what? Are you eating? You're allowed to eat. I give you permission to eat. But you better not be sleeping in. It's work not time. Good enough, eh? You do my job much easier if I had food. I'm working on it. You'll have food in a minute. Holy cow, I think they're just both trying to exit the door at the same time, and that is hilarious. They're literally just bumping into each other. I'll take care of it. <laughs> They're literally just standing there crashing into each other trying to shove their way through the door. It's like a comedy sketch. All right, they finally figured it out though, so that's cool. They finally figured it out. Go on, Kai, get to work. Thank you, buddy. All right, we'll come back when the house is almost done then. Well, look at that. Looks like we have a home. So, uh, builder started. All colonists tucked into bed. Finish building citizen one. Nice. Home sweet home. Your citizens need a place to live. Build them a house. Each level house is one citizen. Um, cool. All right then. So that's neat. So here in our settings, I know housing assignment is automatic, which is fine with me. So in theory, you're cool. Yeah, I know. There's no guard or barrack towers. So does this thing tell me who lives here? Assign one citizens. Uh, the house is where your citizens will live. For every level of the house, the building will house one citizen. You will need multiple houses to house everyone. The only citizens that will not live in a house are your guards. Uh, in order to have children, a male and a female citizen must be housed together in one house. Even if you don't have room in the same hut as them, uh, as long as there is an open bed in any house or tavern within the colony, a child can be born. If there is an adult in another house, the child will be adopted by them. Cool. Worker leveling. Workers have their own their level capped by the level of their house. Thus, if they are unhappy with their living conditions, they will stop leveling until you provide them better housing. Sweet. All right, cool. So one person can live here. How do I figure out who lives here? The assigned citizens is grayed out, so that's a thing. I kind of want it to auto assign, which is fine. Oh, I can rename the building. That's kind of cool. So how do I know who lives here? Does any does it? Is it designated automatically? I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. I know you will, because you're a good guy like that. I might want him to upgrade the house so it can house two citizens, right? So like, let's upgrade it. I like that, build request created. All right, Kai, do your thing. So now this house should be able to hold two citizens, right? Now the other thing that's important is I should be able to hire that dude now that I liked. The guy who needed gold to be hired. Now, he may or may not still be here. I don't know what the deal is. Do they leave after a while? I have no idea. I'm also going to pass the night again, just because I can. But let's go find that other person, and then we'll get the house built. Boone! There he is. Show citizen stats. Yes, 12 agility. So, can I recruit you now? You're... It doesn't? You sure about that? Because I feel like it does. I'll take care of it. Boo. Boo. You should. You should. Maybe the tavern doesn't count. Maybe I need, like, housing for five. That would be kind of a bummer. So what do we got here? Furnaces, polished andesite. Uh, 
which would be cool, right? Just get a bunch of furnaces, a bunch of andesite. Be ready for it, at least. Uh, what else did you need? A red bed, spruce, stairs, and fence. We're going to want, you know... Oh, look at that. Look at all the spruce we've got. See, I, I told you I've been idling for a while here. Spruce stairs. And spruce fence. Yes. And that should be cool. And you got some dirt and gravel to give me back. That's cool. Um, I'll take some of my warped out of here and some of my netherrack. Hopefully we don't need that much more. And that should be cool. All right, so you should be happily upgrading now, right? I need four gravel and a red bed. Oh, I took the gravel out, my bad. And the bed. Um, there you go. I'm just going to get a bunch of beds. Red dye. Cool. Cool. Because we know we're going to build a bunch of houses here, so I want to have like a bunch of supplies kind of already ready so that I don't need to constantly, you know, satisfy the requests and all that stuff. So that should be cool. Uh, and then as soon as we have the courier, this will be less of a problem storage space in here. How did that get in there? I didn't mean to do that. Uh, because what we can do is we can store the stuff in the warehouse and the courier will bring it to the builder for us. And that'll be cool. That'll be super cool. All right, so you should be on your way once. So remember, in order to make the level two building that we're making, we need the level two builder's hut, which we do have. We cannot upgrade this to a level three house until we make a level three builder. Okay, so keep all that in mind. Got it? So Kai's gonna build. We'll come back in a few minutes once he's done. Hooray, we got it, nice. All right, so building number two is covered. So the assigned citizens thing, what if I recall citizens? That doesn't seem to do anything. So how do I how do I assign them? Do I have to manually assign? Maybe I'll set this to manual assignment and then I'll know for sure how it works. Does that sound like a plan? So settings, housing assignment, manual. And then a new child? How do we get a child? Explain. All right, assign two citizens. Kyrie and Thomas G. I don't know. Kai Builder currently current. Current and currently. I don't know what that means. Fisher Builder Cook. So what about Kai? Okay. And Susanna can live here. I mean, that seems cool. Now we have that. Okay. Now we got a child in our village for some reason. Wasn't quite planning for that to happen, but it did. So there's that. Uh, yeah, interesting. Now where's my buddy who had the good stats that I liked? Hey, little buddy. And I guess he's actually a colonist now because he was an option for living there, right? So anyway, first things first, let's get builder working. Get to work, would you? Build building. Build request created. Nice. Uh, and then is that awesome villager still here or did he bounce? He might have bounced. Let me see Kyson's citizen stats. His agility is 14. That's even better, right? Let's hire him. We need um, nine sunflowers of all things. That's a weird thing. Everybody's like, give me gold, give me diamonds, give me emeralds. He's like, sunflowers, please. I work for sunflowers. Okay. That's a thing. So let's go find a sunflower and spam right click on it. Sunflower. Be right back when I find one. All right, we're gonna have to do it this way. Sunflower. You're gonna go there. You're gonna give me many of these. Crisis averted. Did I just teleport like three steps? Yes. Was it still faster? Yes. I now, know. are you my buddy? Yeah, you were. Agility seven. Actually, no, you weren't. 
Where'd my buddy go? This is Thomas. He's already a villager, right? His agility was two, which was paltry. Where'd that dude go who had, like, a ton of agility? He's probably gone now. You can kind of see them on your map a little bit. So I'm a little concerned that he bounced, but we'll see. I hope. He has six agility, so not quite what I was looking for. They might have left. <laughs> he might have left, which is sad. I'll take care of I should, like, capture these dudes and, and you know, mob imprisonment tools when I find all good stats. I'm very bummed that my agility dude has left. Both my agility dudes have left. That stinks. That very much stinks. All right, we'll come back in a minute. Who are you? I'll take care of it. Your agility's 10. That's not I'll bad. For 60 baked potatoes? Probably pull that off. Probably pull that. I mean, 10 agility is still pretty good, right? I'll take that. I mean, it's not quite as good, but... Eh. I'll just make sure that there's not a better option real quick before I hire you, buddy. I'll take yeah, so this one had seven. This one had even lower, I think. Yeah, six agility. The kid was a five. I'll take care of it. This is ten. I'll take care of it. Seven. Yeah, let's just hire him. Hey! You should consider placing a restaurant to keep your sellers fed. I did already. All right, so he's a, he's a colony citizen. Nice. So Dylan, you're getting the job of courier. Okay. So you come over here and get to work. Manage workers. Dylan has agility ten, which is quite nice. Higher. All right. That's cool. He'll come along and do a pickup shortly. Thank you, Dylan. So I think. He will go between all our huts and he will like either unload things that they don't need or load up things that they do need. He'll do something. So you can see he's got a little backpack on, which is cool. I do like how all the villagers, once you assign them a job, get like a thing. Oh, look, he's picking up the fish. Nice. And where is he going to take it? He's going to take it. And I'm going to I'm going to sleep through this night again. I'm starting to feel a little bad because I haven't given these guys a lot of rest lately. But, you know, on the other hand trying to make YouTube content here. All right, so you guys go away for the time being. Okay, so Dylan, you have something to say to me? Probably complaining about a lack of guard tower. Cool, all right, what do you got? Oh, uh, he's, yeah, he's whining about sleep. Whatever, buddy, you can sleep later. Okay, cool, I see. So is he gathering food or is he bringing people food? I don't know what he's doing exactly. He's doing something. I don't know what. He might be bringing them food. That's kind of cool. I, get to I think he's picking up her extra fishing rods. I'm alright with that. Alright, yeah buddy, you do your thing. I might want that second courier right away, we'll see. But I probably also want a guard tower. So once this is done being built, I'll have the guard tower thing happen. Now, are you cool on resources or are you missing something? Because I said that building and I didn't really check, but yeah, we're actually good on resources here. So I should be good. Uh, Kai's taking care of it. Good job, Kai. Proud of you, buddy. Proud of you, sir. Hooray! New house done. Let's upgrade this guy to level two now. So build options, upgrade. Good to go. All right, Kai, you're up, buddy. Hi ho. Hi ho, indeed. Get to work. Now the good news is it looks like we already have all the stuff. And and because I've been dumping so many extra resources in here, uh, that's kind of been the pattern for the last couple houses I built. I haven't had to do too much giving him of things. So he'll come over here, he'll start upgrading this lovely house into an even lovelier house, and that'll be cool. I might want to do his hut next, we'll see. Or I might want to do the courier guy next, because that'll let him carry more stuff at once. I'm not quite sure how we're going to handle that, but we'll figure it out. So are you guys all like getting the foods and, and happy and you got, I mean, she's cooking. So I haven't, I haven't manually moved food since you guys saw me do it on camera. So I got to imagine that my courier is doing the thing that we want them to do. 
which is awesome. I'll That's you. All right, I'll work on letting you sleep. Looks like he's carrying around some extra resources. I don't mind this, but he will, like, the extra stuff from the builder, he'll take away and put in the warehouse. I don't mind that, but we want to be aware of the fact that, you know, he then has to bring it back when there's something to build. So, it's kind of a hit and miss, pro and con kind of deal, but we'll figure it out. Um, I should prioritize, priority pickup. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I got to imagine, like, higher priority, right? Everybody's a one, so that would be, like, the lowest, presumably. All right, Kai is almost done here with this new house, which is exciting. I assume. Hi-ho. Hi-ho, indeed. I'm sure he's got, like, one torch to place, and he's like, Oh, look, it's nighttime! Gotta clock out! Gotta clock out! I was not wrong. I was not wrong. He literally has, I think, one torch to place. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 13. Mysterious warriors have been spotted northeast of what? Mummies? I didn't know this was a thing. I was unaware. I think it's time to actually pay attention to this guard tower request bit. What is going on here? Oh my goodness, there's actual mummies. I had no idea this was going to happen. This is pure... I'll be back. You will be back, I guess. Well, that was really cool. <laughs> I had no idea that was a thing. That was 100% not even... I had no idea. I had no idea. I guess everybody else is just like, yeah, whatever, mummies. That's cool. Dyer took care of us. You guys know I got you, right? 100%. 100% I got you guys. Cool. Well, I'm going to let them sleep through this night because they've been complaining that they haven't been sleeping through the night. Especially you, Dylan. Are you going to, like, go sleep, Mr. I don't get to sleep, or what? Oh, he's sleeping right here. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, have fun. Hopefully you don't complain about not getting enough sleep. All right, back in a few. Hooray! House number two. So let's assign our citizens. We'll put Dylan. Huh. Trying to understand. It's not obvious here. But if we go over here, we'll see that Kai and Susanna live here. So we should put the other two in here, right? Um... Dylan and Sophia. Is that cool? Yeah, the, the housing assignment's a little bit tricky, unless I'm missing something that's telling me who lives in places, but that's cool. All right, uh, what should we upgrade next? Should we get the builder upgraded again to level three? Or should we do the courier so that, you know, Dylan can do more carrying? So the the courier upgrades oh make it so that they can carry more than one stack at a time. So right now he can carry one stack. Courier level two means he can carry two stacks at a time, which is kind of nice. Um, let's see. Or do we want another house so that we have more room for people to move in? Or should we, you know... Uh, yeah, the housing assignment thing's a little weird guess i guess the housing assignment thing is a little weird now what about over here does this tell me who's living here then thomas is here okay cool okay i'm gonna try putting it back on auto housing assignment and see how that goes you know I'm curious what happens then. See, Kyrie showed up in here now. Aha. Good to know. That's the child that nobody knows where it came from. Not creepy at all. Not creepy at all. Uh, so should we do another house then? I mean, that sounds cool. Maybe we should upgrade this guy to level three. That does sound like a good time. Let's try that. And then we'll probably also want to do... Yeah, we could do this. Let's go ahead and upgrade him. Build request created. So, Kai, you're up, buddy. Let's go. He's like, I'm on my way, direwolf. And there's some fancy stuff in this level 3 builder. Twisting vines, nether sprouts, a bunch of warped roots and stuff. Yeah, we'll be back. Now, you know I don't know nothing about vanilla, but I feel like I'm going to need my shears for the nether sprouts. And they're green, so again, I assume that they are in the warped area. I guess we'll find out. Let's head over there. Ah, fire pad. 
Nether sprouts? Nether sprouts, yes. Some of these are nether sprouts. Some of them are warped something or others. But since I didn't have any in my refined storage system, and I've done enough breaking of blocks out here, I assume that these are like, uh, you know, something like that. All right. And then back to the colony. And then we can add the nether set routes, and then we're ready to go Builder 3. As soon as the day comes along, I'm going to let him sleep, so we'll be back. All right, mission accomplished. Delivered all resources and waiting for Buddy to get to work. All right, Kai, you can do it. Also, uh, two new kids showed up. No idea why. They are urging me to build a warehouse, apparently. Uh, they also bring word that barbarian spies have been found growing... Found, have found the growing, but you might want to build a guard tower. Yes, guard tower is my next task, literally. Um, as soon as you're done upgrading this, which, by the way, get to work, right? You, you need something, or are you cool? You're pretty happy, and you've got all the stuff you need. So my, my, my assessment would be, like, it's time to go. Also, kid, why are you following me around? Recall worker? Get to work, buddy. Come on, Kai, you can do it. All right, so once that's ready, we're going to want the guard tower. Now, I feel like... Me, personally, I feel like a guard tower should be on the outskirts of the city. Does that make sense? Or is a guard tower going to, like, protect the spherical area, right? Like a radius or something. And then, you know, by putting it on the outskirts of the city, it won't actually protect the city. Not quite sure. I guess we'll figure it out. But let's start with the actual guard tower. So the guard tower itself is going to need a bow, which we can craft. And they look pretty straightforward. So, like, let's put one over here-ish. Yeah, like, like right there? All right, we don't want to do it with that. We want to do it with this. And we definitely want to do the wooden one. And, yeah, why not, right? That look cool? Yeah. Sure. Make it so. And then we'll throw another one, like, I don't know, over here-ish. Is that cool? Yeah. Maybe I want two more? I don't know. We'll start with those two and we'll see if that makes the villagers happy, right? Um, it's so, gold. Kyrie grew up and wants a job now. It's Look, I mean, gold. we all want things. Oh, he's requesting things from our dude. I think, I think our courier is bringing him stuff. Did you take away my striped oak wood? So here's one problem with the warehouse that I found, is like the courier is a little bit funny about things and stuff. So we'll have to see what's up. So I guess our courier is bringing him the things he wants? I mean, to be fair, I gave you a lot of these things, so you should have most of it. Like, I know I gave you stripped oak. Yeah, you've got that. Stripped wood. Stripped warped stem, right? That's what you need? Well, open request is blank, so that's nice. Unless that's the other. Yeah, that's the other one. Yeah, I'm going to cancel all your requests, because you should have everything you need, buddy. It's your gold. Yeah, get to work. Come on. Yeah, that's one thing that happened in the previous version that I feel like happens here also. Once you have the warehouse, the courier starts taking items away from the builder. And then he's like, I need these items. And then you have to wait for the courier to bring them to you. So it's a little bit of back and forth happening. It's a little weird. But are you cool now, Kai? Are you going to get to work? But every now and then you can just pop into the, you know, into the UI there and cancel their requests. And they'll just get to work, hopefully. I hope. Yeah, so his requests are blank, so I think that means he's going to start building. We'll see. Alright, yeah, definitely looks like upgrades are happening on the ground here, which is kind of cool to see. But yeah, no, he's finally he's finally working. Thank you, Kai. Please get to work. Continue. I'll come back when this is mostly done. This is, uh, you know, stuff. Getting there. It's getting built up. You can see, like, this back area showing up here, and this little thing here happening, and these guys, it's so cool. I like it. Doors are getting placed. How are we on percentage and whatnot and i'm very curious to see if i'll be able to like teach him three by three recipes at the end of this but I, I honestly don't know i don't know how to do three by three recipe crafting there might be a building dedicated to it there's a lot of buildings as you can see 
All right, so it looks like the Builder's Hut level three is almost ready here. Cool, just a few more things for my little buddy to place. I think he's almost at torch mode. Come on, Kai, get out your torches. You know that's what's important. Them and that, that flower pot that you needed to place inside the warped, yeah. Cool, no, definitely looks good. But yay, completed, nice. Cool. I definitely like the, you know, the blue flame thing outside. It looks pretty cool. I I like this mod. I really do. It's kind of fun. I mean, I'm so torn on this mod right now. It's it's fun building up the different areas, but I also super feel like it's not super engaging YouTube content. I really need you guys to let me know in the comments. Like, is this cool to watch or is it not so much? Um, you know, building the colony. I'm doing my best to make it entertaining by cutting it in good ways and like, you know, adding a little bit of you know, comical overlay, if you will. But you guys got to let me know in the comments what you think. But let's wrap up here. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is, because I'm recording these in advance, I want to give you guys time to let me know in the comments how things are. So I'm going to take a break from Mine Colonies for a couple episodes, and we'll circle back in the future and if enough people were saying, yeah, we want to see more of it. Cool? So let me know. Yes, more Mine Colonies, or no, don't do that anymore. And I will, uh, you know... Take it under advisement. For now, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Uh, probably work with a different mod for a little bit. Um, and then maybe circle back to this in the future and see how my colonists are doing. That kind of cool thing. All right, guys. Take it easy.